Hi folks, how's everybody doing? Happy, uh, happy weekend. And it's the last weekend of August, 2022, so that's pretty exciting. And I'm just coming live here. I'm actually making a video uh, with my camera from using somebody else's phone because my Facebook um, got hacked and I'm working on that. And thank you to everybody who's um, been assisting me with that and giving me some some tips on what to do and how to handle that. So thank you so much. And um, I did post your guys's um, comments on about that and to see if anybody if anybody else has issues um, then need help with that. Um, so use at your own discretion. Anybody's advice. Um, I, I learned a lot from getting hacked and um, I gave away my private information because I was fell prey to some kind of scam and it, I guess it happens to a lot of people. So just be careful information you get out and stuff like that. So live art with Sarah Sanborn. Nice to see you all. I am sitting in front of my easel today because I'm going to be working on this painting a little bit more. And also I've added some more photographs, um, pro um, inspiration photographs, uh, pro uh, re reference photos, because I'm going to be working on another painting. I'm painting, um, I'm working on a painting of the house, actually, the house of our family home. And so I want to paint that. And so I just want to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to just kind of step away and be over on the side here. You can hear me, but I'm not really going to be painting with my face inside the camera because I'm busy, going to be busy painting. So hope you guys are doing well and let's get to it. Okay, I've got my brushes here. There's many brushes. There's Depending on what I'm going to do um, will depend on what size I'm using. Um, usually I start with a larger brush. Here's my palette knife. Um, so I will use that to maybe mix some of my colors. Let me see. I think I'm going to continue working on this down here and I have my reference photo up here um, for for that rock wall that I am going to be using. Let me see. Is that a medium size brush? You know, that's, uh, this is a good one. I like this one. This is a good size. And I have that over there. Hmm. I need a napkin. Where? Oh, here it is. Okay. <laughs> I have to rub my, how about that? It's pretty colorful, huh? Pretty colorful napkin. Okay, so it's about the color, really is. What colors do I want to introduce? They're mostly all the same. They're called field, field rocks, field stone, here where we are in our part of the world. And so I'm just kind of mixing up a little bit of a brown. And let me see. It's really a lot more green than I want to. So what's new with you guys? You guys doing well and getting the kids back to school and all that kind of stuff? I've just been working hard on my health. I'm actually fasting right now, so that's really interesting. So you can add green to any kind of a beige and it makes it a different sort of a tone. I highly recommend doing that kind of thing. Let me see. Oh yeah, well, I didn't really want to make this green necessarily, so I'm gonna to have to tone that down a little bit. So, well, I guess some of, some of the stones can look like that, but not all of them. Making browns interesting because a brown is like a compilation of all kinds of things, you know, all kinds of colors. Here's some little bit of purple. Let's see what happens. Ooh, that's a blue. Hmm. Yeah, let's take a look here. Oh, that makes a nice brown. So just layering the different colors to get in here and get these rocks worked on a little bit more. Every time I sit down at the easel, it's just, you know, just a little bit further along. Um, just 
have to go a little bit a little bit more into the painting and just keep working at it. Some sessions at the easel are much more smooth, more smooth, and they just happen really fast. And that's just a piece of cake. You know what I mean? I guess that's like like life. <laughs> Some days are easier than others, no matter what we're doing, right? And so these stones up here are really flat. They're just like, you can't even hardly tell they're up there. And besides, the color is really, um, I need to get a brown on my, my palette here. I can just make one, I suppose. With some orange and some green and some yellow and a little bit of red over here. It's just a compilation of all kinds of colors, you know. And then add a little bit of white. Now it's really pink. When I do mixing my colors, I do, if it's too red, then I add more green because that's the complementary color of that. And um, that looks really nice. So this right under here has a lot of shadow because it's a ledge kind of, you know? We used to, I used to sit on here when I'd take my breaks. This is such a neat, it's such a neat painting because it's just so full of um, really great memories for me and for my family. And um, it, was, it was so fun having a studio at this space. And my friends are still there, but I've moved on and I actually stopped having the studio space there because I wanted to save money because I was getting into investing at that time, learning, learning about it mostly, not doing a lot of it yet at that point. But um, just learning, you know, how to... When, figuring out how I want to save my money and I wasn't selling a lot of art at that point so it just didn't seem like the best thing for me to be doing and um, it's funny because a lot of people were like oh, my neighbors they're like, you're moving nobody ever moves out of here Isn't that funny it's all right it worked for me because then I ended up doing some spending my money in other areas like paying off debt which is important to investing being able to be smart with your money and where you're spending it and stuff like that. You know. So I'm just kind of outlining these rocks just to give them a little more definition. And, uh, So I'm fasting, I was saying, I am fasting right now, and it's very interesting. Have you guys ever done that before? Such a good idea. I'm doing it for health reasons, because apparently what I'm learning about is our ancestors fasted. Maybe it wasn't something they wanted to do, or maybe it was a religious thing, you know? It was a spiritual decision. Um, but it's, it's neat, because... Um, it's hard though too. It's not always just neat. It's it's a little bit challenging because the mind and the body is so programmed to, you know, eating at a particular time. You like you look at your watch and it's like, oh, it's twelve o'clock. It must be lunchtime. You know, <laughs> and actually that's not always the best way to be eating. So anyway, what what's happening with with my fast, with my health is that. Uh, the pathogens and the autoimmune um, situation going on 
is starved. Like, like if you have some kind of a bacteria or some kind of growth going on, the pathogens are completely starved. When you don't give them their food to survive, then they starve. And then you no longer have the pathogen or the, you know, it could be all any kind of number of things, really. Okay, I'm doing another brown. Let's see. That's red and green and probably some orange is good. Still kind of pinky, so it's still very red. So what I'm gonna do then is add more green because that will tone down the green because it's that complementary color. So that's a nice, I like that tone, that's good. Yeah, so then what happens is, and then especially if you're um, fasting under a doctor's care, which I am, doctors and nurses and a health coaches and an entire team of people that I'm working with to get healthy, um, then what happens is your body will go, you have to watch how you're feeling though. If you're feeling like really lightheaded, then you maybe want to stop. If you're feeling like you're going to pass out, you know, maybe you need to have some bone broth or eat something, but I'm attempting to do a full on water fast today. And I have to admit, it's not easy. I don't really like doing it, except for then after you get past the like psychological upset, because it can cause irritability, you know, the body, um, the body's like, oh, okay, this might actually be a good thing, you know, because then you have that, you get used to the having a hunger pain inside your, your self. Yeah. Okay, that looks really nice. Now over here, it's kind of a reddish brown building. This is the studio building. So what it is, if you see the lit, the picture up above, if you can see that here, basically what it is, it's this right here has to be painted Okay, so, and then first, and, and the sky and stuff, so then, and then you layer on the trees and stuff over the top, but you have to paint what's behind it already first, because that, otherwise there's no way you're going to be able to paint it. it. It's just so many layers, especially when you're doing this kind of work. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to put in the background here first. Some of this little colors here. Okay. I think I'll leave that brush. Now, what else do I want to do? I think I'm going to do some of the sky. Now, this color up here, this blue, this blue is too dark. This blue that I've done already is not quite the right blue that I wanted that I want to do. I want to do more of a like a periwinkle kind of sky color, which I've been seeing a lot in the in the sky lately. And it's one of my favorite colors, periwinkle. So let me see about making it. Now the thing is, if I'm gonna do it, I have quite an expanse, is I'm going to need to make a little bit of it here. Otherwise you just keep mixing your colors up and then, so it's basically, I have a purple and white, and then I have a blue here that I'm making this color with. That's pretty. That's what I want. That's the color I want for my sky. So I'm just going to change it out. Make it the color I want. And then what I was thinking was, how am I going to... What What is it that I'm going to do here? Like, what time of day is it? You know, that's what I was thinking.
And I was thinking, well, because in this in this particular location, I mean, you can do anything as an artist. You can just figure out where you want things to be and look what time of day you want it to be. You could change the time of day. Heck, you can do anything like that. Uh, this place has, well, obviously, sunsets are beautiful basically anywhere you are, right? But it uh, might be nice to... Well, I don't really want to do a sunset sky right here. I just want to fill this in. And you know, I'm going to look at this and see how we do and then, but I have to make a decision on the color because this comes first. The sky comes first, the sky color, because then I can go ahead and paint over the top of the sky color the, um, the trees, see? But this needs to be done first and that's the other painting I'm going to be working on also. So I'm just going to finish a little bit of this right here. So I can get in and let's see how that looks once I add it. Now see that's there. Now that's not, that needs a little more purple. Yeah. Okay. I've just, like I've said, I've noticed this beautiful periwinkle color in the sky lately a lot. I've never seen this sky this color, which is kind of interesting, but Mother Guy is ascending. I'm not surprised she's going to have different sky colors. Okay, maybe a little bit more over here. In fact, this blue, I'm going to actually introduce to my other painting that I'm going to work on in just a minute. There. Okay. Okay, I'm doing a painting right now, hon. I'm not quite ready yet. We're going to the store. All right, where's the other painting? Here we go. Now, this one here. Okay, this is our family home painting. I can hear our kitty down there. It's just like in a panic about needing food. Poor little thing. I told him that's. I told him to stop eating birds. I don't like it. You know they're feral. My our cats are feral, adopted, so they, and we let them outside, so they do eat birds. Unfortunately, I guess that's why people say don't let your cats outside. Okay. I'm doing sort of the same color blue in this guy. Um, so I really like this color. And so this was originally, I did this in um, watercolor and now I'm going to paint it in oil because that's really what I want this painting to look like anyway, is I want it, I'm going to do this painting in oil. so. That's my preferred um, color, or I mean, my preferred type of paint to use. See, so once I get this color on there, and I can fill in the trees. That's nice. In fact, that's kind of dark. I'm wondering if I should just Kind of like do a wash over here. Hmm. 
So anyhow, enjoying this cleanse uh, and taking care of my body. I hope you guys can try fasting. Just allow yourself to observe your um, your hunger pangs and just feel like, and then I've been watching videos about how to do it because, and then you can get irritable, which is natural part of the process. But, um, yeah, and then just imagine, you know, all the toxins that are coming out if you have a pathogen or I'm dealing with, um, overgrowth of like candida in the intestines. You have all these symptoms and when you crave sugar and you're, you know, stuff like that and you have really severe bloating and so I'm on a special AIP program, autoimmune paleo. Ooh, that's nice. I, really, I like what's happening. It's more of like the color that I want it to be. So I'm doing autoimmune paleo food program and uh and then with combined with fasting it's really good for people who have um autoimmune challenges in their life so okay so this is nice once i get see now this is feeling like it's more like the color that i want it like i was saying yeah Oils are definitely more robust. Take longer to dry, but I'm kind of applying it as a wash. I don't do impasto, which is what some painters do. It's not really my style. Okay, so now I let that dry and then I can go ahead and, and fill in the background with the mountain and then start painting in the house. And then, and then after all this, after this blue dries the sky, then I come in and start doing the, all the trees with all the many, many branches and then the beautiful foreground and the, and the road here. Yep. Okay. I'm feeling like that's pretty done for today. Not too long. So nice to, nice to have you with me, and I hope you guys are all doing good. I'm gonna to try to post this video into my into my um, Sarah Sarah uh, Live Art with Sarah Sanborn group, and so I would say, let's see, quote for the day, quote for the day, a quote for the day is, try to find something that makes you happy, try to do something that makes you happy. And it might be hard to do. It might be hard to to find something that makes you happy. But um, my dear friend and I right now are focusing on what brings us joy and being able to do that and show up in the world and, and you know, um, promote your highest joy. And, and because you, you can serve the world the best when you're in your highest joy. And if you don't know how to get there, Maybe think of something you used to do when you were a kid. Maybe you do something that you used to do with your grandparents, um, a pastime or, you know, gardening, reading, um, doing a puzzle or, you know, maybe you like cooking or you want to share a nice meal with your family or maybe you like doing some kind of painting or, um, you know, maybe it's just a sensation of doing a meditation and relaxing and that brings you joy. Um, movement movement is really good maybe you like to go bike riding or um, maybe you go like to watch the water reflecting on a lake a pretty lake or something like that near you or go watch a creek and just be in nature that that brings me a lot of joy i did that today okay and read a book i just did nothing and read a book i wasn't doing nothing i was reading so but it feels like sometimes it's hard to get in that space where you like just give yourself permission to just sit there and just read I feel like I should be doing, 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 but sometimes we just need to just, just be in the moment. All right, you guys, I'm hoping to get, figure out my, my, uh, live art with uh, my, um, hacked situation on my computer page pretty soon. But, uh, in the meantime, you guys take care, enjoy each other and, um, be grateful, be grateful for all that you have.
Mwah. Love you so much. Take care.